Welcome to today's yin yoga practice and welcome back to Devi Daily Yoga. In this sequence, I'm going to guide you through a series of slow, deep stretches to release tension from the whole body and relax the mind. Begin on your back in reclined butterfly with the feet together, the knees wide, and let the hands touch the belly, resting here as you feel your breath rise and fall in your belly. Tune into your breath and your body as you breathe with a slow, easy rhythm and inviting yourself to fully arrive here on your mat. And now take a big breath into the whole body and sigh it out, letting go of whatever you don't need as you begin this time of self-care. Now stretch the whole body out on the floor, arms and legs extended and stretching out like a big star. Take a big inhale and a yawning exhale as you come into a twist. Let your arms come out into a T, bend your knees, Scoot the hips to the left, draw the knees up and over to the right. Rest here. If it feels good, turn your head to the left. You could take cactus arms if that feels good or any twist variation that your body feels good in right now. As you settle in, feel the stretch in the side body, the waist, the ribs, and the spine and breathe into the whole body. Now slowly let the knees come back up to the center and shift your hips to slowly come into twist on the second side. Finding a comfortable angle of the arms and the legs, adjusting as you need to so you feel comfortable, stretching gently into the muscles and fascia of the torso, the ribs, the spine. Now slowly let your knees come back up to center. 
Center your hips and draw the knees in toward the chest, wrapping arms around the legs, rocking side to side or whatever feels good here. Maybe taking the knees into some circles three times clockwise, breathing as you circle around and three times counterclockwise. Slowly bring the legs back to center now and come into figure four. Place your left ankle on top of your right knee. Begin to draw the legs in, clasping behind the right thigh or in front of the shin. This posture stretches the left buttock, the left outer hip, and the left glutes. And you might adjust the angle of your legs so that you feel a good stretch in this area. And begin to settle in and breathe into the stretch that you're feeling. Slowly release figure four, bring both feet to the floor and place the right ankle over the left knee and draw the legs toward you, this time feeling the stretch in the area of the right outer hip and glutes. Breathe into the stretch and invite your body to relax and soften as you release tension. Now slowly release figure four and slowly make your way into happy baby. Bend both knees and reach down to hold the bottoms of your feet. Turn the soles of the feet up to the sky as you draw the knees down on either side of your ribs. Feel the stretch in the lower back, the sacrum, and the back of your hips. Breathing into the fascia of the whole lower back.
When you're ready, release your legs. Slowly and gently roll to one side and come all the way onto your belly, setting up for Sphinx. As you come onto your belly, you'll rest on your elbows and forearms. If you'd like a deeper stretch, you could come up onto straight arms, lifting the elbows and taking seal. And if you'd like more support in your seal, you can take a cushion under your ribs and belly. Whether you're in Sphinx or seal, whether you're using a cushion or not, we're finding a lower back back bend, feeling the sacrum and the lumbar spine and breathing into the thick layers of fascia in this lower back region. Slowly and gently release the back bend and come onto your belly, removing the cushion if you have one here. And stack your hands, rest your forehead on your hands for crocodile, taking a brief rebound, breathing into the lower back. Now slowly lift up, press up to hands and knees, and come into puppy. Place your knees hips width and stretch your arms out in front so you can bring your heart toward the floor. You might rest your chest on the floor or your chin or your forehead. Or if it feels good, just keep the head at a hover. Whatever works best to stretch into your armpits, your ribs, your shoulders. Soften the heart toward the floor with each exhalation. Moving now into thread the needle. Slowly slide the left arm under the right. Bring the left side of the head to the floor and feel this upper body twist as you keep your right hand on the floor above the head. And if it feels good, you could walk your right hand over toward the top left corner of the mat to get more opening in the right side of the chest. And you might feel a nice stretch in the back of the left shoulder outer shoulder and the shoulder blade area. Inviting space and ease into the area behind the heart.
Now slowly release, thread the needle, return to puppy for a brief moment, arms stretch out in front as the heart melts down. And when you're ready, slide your right arm under your left for thread the needle on the second side. Finding this opening between the shoulder blades. As you walk the left arm above the head to a comfortable position. Feeling the stretch in the back of the right shoulder, outside of the right shoulder, the twist in the upper spine and breathing space into the back of the heart. And now slowly unwind, come back to hands and knees, and send the hips back toward the heels in child's pose. Take the arms down alongside of you, bringing the knees closer together to make space for this rounded shoulder position, giving the arms a break from this extension over the head that we've been doing to now soften around the trapezius, the back of the neck, and the whole spine and back body. Breathe into the whole spine and back body and rest here in stillness. Slowly rise up now and come into a seated position to begin stretching into the legs. Option to sit on a cushion or directly on your mat. For the next few stretches, you'll be mirroring my movements. Extend your right leg at a comfortable angle and pull your left heel in toward your groin. Rotate the chest away from the extended leg slide the hand down the leg and come into a side bend stretching the arm up and over the bottom arm might slide closer to the foot you might hold the foot you might feel good bringing the elbow down inside of the leg settle into the variation that feels good in your body today and breathe into what you feel Stay in the side bend now as you take the top arm and bring it down to wrap it behind your back. You can bring the back of the hand to the sacrum or climb it up the back to the back of your ribs, whatever feels good to open your chest, your shoulder in the front and feel this space between the shoulder and the ear. Breathe into what you feel. Slowly release the side bend. Bring the spine upright and take a twist away from the extended leg, opposite hand to knee. Turn your gaze to the side. Inhale. 
As you exhale, come back to face the extended leg, and now with your chest facing toward the leg, come into half butterfly, or one-legged forward bend. Adjust the angles of the leg so you feel comfortable here, and take the hands either to the shin, or the foot, or the floor. Allow the spine to round and allow the shoulders to relax. Slowly coming up now, and slowly change to the second side. Extend your other leg out, pull the right heel in toward the groin, and rotate the chest away from the extended leg, sliding into your side bend, and reaching up through the extended side of the torso, breathing into your side body. When you're ready, change the arm position to wrap the hand behind the back, resting it in a comfortable place, and feel this stretch in the front of the shoulder, the side of the neck, allowing the weight of the head to create this stretch so there's minimal effort, and all you need to do is rest and breathe. Begin to rise up slowly now, and with the spine upright, twist away from the extended leg. Slowly turn back around to face the front, preparing for the forward bend over the extended leg. Finding a comfortable angle and a comfortable placement for your hands on the foot, the shin, or the floor. Relaxing down through the spine, the head, and the shoulders. Breathe into what you feel and soften with your exhale.
And now slowly find your way to an upright spine and slowly come into butterfly. Place your feet together, open your knees wide and bend forward from the waist. As you come forward, let the head and shoulders relax down. You might clasp your hands around your feet or rest your hands on the floor. Breathe in now. And with an exhale, soften through the shoulders, the spine, and the head. Feel the stretch in the inner thighs and the lower back. Now slowly release butterfly, bring your spine upright, come to a cross-legged seat, and we'll close the practice here with the palms together in front of the heart. Circle the arms around and up over the head and pull the hands down into a prayer in front of the heart, thanking yourself for taking this time on the mat today. I am so glad you were able to join me for this practice. Be sure to move slowly and gently into the next part of your day. I look forward to the next time we find the mat together. Namaste.